NASA has confirmed that its spacecraft, Explorer 1, currently the farthest human-made object in space, has once again begun transmitting valuable data to Earth. Although the details of the object remain unclear, experts are able to measure its distance. Explorer 1, launched by NASA more than 45 years ago, has recently sent back an astonishing message that has reverberated throughout the scientific community. After traveling nearly 14 billion miles from Earth, Explorer 1 has made a discovery of such magnitude that it has altered the direction of its mission, prompting it to return toward Earth. This remarkable shift in its path has sparked intrigue and speculation. Just moments ago, Explorer 1 made a startling finding, causing it to change its course and head back to our planet. But what exactly has been discovered? Could it be evidence of extraterrestrial life, an unusual anomaly, or something even more incomprehensible? In this gripping account, we delve into these thrilling findings as Explorer 1 has made a revelation that has prompted it to unexpectedly redirect toward Earth. According to records from the twin probes of Explorer, had certain celestial events not aligned, these two remarkable spacecraft might have never even left Earth. Around 60 years ago, the four largest planets in our solar system started aligning in a manner that had not been seen since Thomas Jefferson's presidency in the mid-1800s. This extraordinary planetary alignment remained mostly unnoticed until Gary Flandro, a doctoral candidate at the California Institute of Technology, recognized its significance in 1965, when space exploration was just beginning. While working part-time at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, Flandro was tasked with determining the most efficient route for sending a probe to Jupiter or farther destinations like Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune. Using just a simple pencil, he meticulously charted the orbital paths of the major planets and made a groundbreaking discovery. By the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four planets were set to align in such a way that a single spacecraft could visit them all, utilizing gravity assists from each planet to propel itself toward the next. This rare alignment would allow a spacecraft to reduce travel time significantly, with the journey from Earth to Neptune being shortened from 30 years to just 12 years. However, this planetary arrangement only happens once every 176 years. Seizing the opportunity, NASA decided to launch spacecraft during the mid-1970s to make use of this once-in-a-lifetime alignment, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2. These twin spacecraft embarked on an extraordinary mission to explore the outer planets of our solar system, thanks to the alignment and the visionary calculations made by Gary Flandro. The launch of these spacecraft on September 5, 1977, marked a monumental event in space exploration. From Cape Canaveral, Florida, Explorer 1 began its incredible journey into the cosmos aboard a Titan III Center rocket. Just 15 days later, Explorer 2 was launched on August 20, 1977. These spacecraft's primary mission was to study the massive gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, along with their moons. However, they far exceeded expectations, journeying beyond their initial goals traveling farther and longer than any other spacecraft before them, breaking numerous records. In their pursuit of discovery, they ventured into regions never explored by human-made objects, even reaching what is known as interstellar space, an entirely uncharted territory in our galaxy. Today, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 are more than 12 billion miles from Earth, and even though they are so distant, they continue to surprise scientists with their groundbreaking discoveries. Their most recent finding has left the scientific community astounded. In the past, the twin spacecraft achieved a series of remarkable feats, including studying the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These moons, which were once thought to be dull and cratered like Earth's moon, turned out to be dynamic, intriguing worlds. Explorer 1 made history by becoming the first of the two spacecraft to pass by Uranus in 1986. Just three years later, it flew by Neptune accomplishing something no other spacecraft had achieved. As these probes continued their complex journey, NASA implemented various strategies to ensure their continued operation. They deactivated non-essential parts, like extra heaters and components to conserve energy. The goal was to keep them functional at least until 2025. For the dedicated scientists and engineers who had been involved from the beginning, this achievement was a combination of hard work and emotion. At the start of their journey, 
the Explorer spacecraft surprised scientists with their first close-up images of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. These moons, which astronomers once thought were dull and heavily cratered like the moon, turned out to be dynamic and active worlds. Explorer 1 reached Jupiter in March 1979, just 546 days after its launch, while Explorer 2 followed a slightly different path and arrived at Jupiter in July of the same year. Equipped with advanced cameras that could rotate slower than an hour hand on a clock, these spacecraft captured over 33,000 detailed photographs of Jupiter and its moons, revealing new and remarkable data. For instance, the moon Europa was found to have a thick icy surface with cracks more than 60 meters deep. As Explorer 1 and 2 departed Jupiter, they were slingshot to even greater speeds, thanks to gravity assists, propelling them towards interstellar space. The two spacecraft then continued their separate paths, with Explorer 1 passing through Saturn's iconic rings and flying by Titan, a moon shrouded in an orange haze. Explorer 2, on the other hand, ventured to Uranus and Neptune. In 1986, Explorer 2 made a significant discovery at Uranus, identifying 10 new moons and confirming that the planet also had rings. However, its achievements were overshadowed by a tragic event. Just days after its closest approach to Uranus, the Space Shuttle Challenger tragically exploded during liftoff, claiming the lives of all seven crew members, including Krista McAuliffe, a teacher who was meant to be the first civilian in space. As Explorer 2 flew over Neptune's atmosphere, it encountered the highest recorded winds in our solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour. The largest moon of Neptune, Triton, revealed itself to be one of the coldest places known with surface temperatures plunging to minus 235 degrees Fahrenheit. Additionally, scientists discovered frozen volcanoes on Triton that eject nitrogen gas and particles as high as five miles into the moon's atmosphere. After these stunning observations of Neptune, both Explorer spacecraft were set to shut down their cameras, signaling the end of their official missions. However, Carl Sagan, an astronomer and member of the imaging team, stepped in to push for an extension of the mission. This decision was driven by the hope that the spacecraft could continue their journey into interstellar space. The mission was then renamed the Explorer Interstellar Project, and both spacecraft ventured further into the unknown. In August 2012, Explorer 1 reached an extraordinary milestone by crossing beyond the heliosphere, the region of charged particles created by the Sun. The following year, a study published in the journal Science highlighted Explorer 1's significant finding. The spacecraft's plasma wave instrument detected a strong solar flare between April 9th and May 2013. This event caused electrons near the spacecraft to vibrate, indicating it had entered a region of higher particle density than the heliosphere. Although it may seem surprising that the electron density is higher in interstellar space than near the Sun, researchers explained that the density of electrons at the edge of the heliosphere is much lower than on Earth. By analyzing this data, Scientists pinpointed that Explorer 1 crossed into interstellar space on August 25, 2012. This achievement filled the team with immense pride and joy. Mission director Susan Dodd expressed her enthusiasm, stating that the team was thrilled to see Explorer 1 reach this incredible milestone. Ed Stone, a key figure in the Explorer missions, emphasized how this breakthrough contributed to our understanding of space. He explained that Explorer 1 had helped scientists gain insights into the nature of energy and radiation beyond the solar system. Explorer 2 also crossed into interstellar space in November 2018, venturing into the uncharted region beyond the sun's protective bubble. Now, here's the most astonishing news. After an incredible 46 years of space travel, NASA's Explorer 1, the farthest human-made object from Earth, is still transmitting valuable data. Despite being over 14.7 billion miles away, the spacecraft continues to operate far beyond its anticipated lifespan. This ongoing success, far exceeding expectations, is a testament to the durability and resilience of the spacecraft. However, NASA has projected that by 2025, Explorer may first no longer be able to generate enough power to continue transmitting data back to Earth. Recently, Something extraordinary occurred during routine communication with Explorer 1 via NASA's Deep Space Network. After more than four decades of continuous data transmission, the spacecraft suddenly ceased its journey and executed a 180 degrees turn.
This unexpected change in trajectory is raising numerous questions and concerns as scientists continue to analyze the data transmitted by the spacecraft. What could be the cause of this mysterious anomaly? Only time will tell.